It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mad's Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1982, recorded Thursday, April 4th, 2024. Zippity Dude Da. On this episode of the Giz Whiz, Diggy D has another great storage solution plus a what the heck is it and I reveal the next crappy corner theme for this month. All next on the Giz Whiz! It's the same show with Diggy D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the gizmos because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blowing LEDs. Get ready for the gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, hiding in the grass, waiting <laughs> to bounce out and hop around. The Easter Dickie D. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing uh, very well, and you, sir? Doing great. Doing wonderful. Doing really, really good. So uh, did you have a big Easter? I had a fun Easter. It was. Uh, it was. I got. It's been. Let me think. The weather has been kind of up and down in Florida, but like. Okay. This last weekend, it was. It was pretty good. So I got some sun, which is. Awesome to get on Easter, I feel like. Yeah. And I didn't do any um, Easter egg hunting, uh, per se, but I had. Oh. I think I had a great Easter. How about yeah, you? But you, you did do some Easter egg sending. <laughs> I did. I did. And I wanted, I wanted to share it with the chat room, so I made a little <gasps> one and a half minute video. Okay, here it is. All right, it's not a gadget. It's a card. From Chad. Okay, came in a big box today. Oh, happy Easter. Press here. Hey, know why the Easter Bunny was embarrassed to deliver eggs this year? Because he was having a bad hair day. <laughs> <laughs> the hair jokes never get old. <laughs> That's very funny. A bad hair day. And look at this. Huh? <laughs> I think some Chad work there. Stash. Mm -mm -mm. Pull here. Pull here. Oh, 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 I see. I think Chad designed this. I did. Yeah, that's okay. really nice. Mm -mm. Is it going to go off? Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. Wow. Of candy and peeps. Chad, <laughs> this is great. Your dentist will great. love you because you'll uh, have to visit wait, him. Hang on, there's something else in the box. Um, oh, it's the bill. <laughs> <laughs> Easter basket. Wow, $35. <laughs> Deluxe Easter card. $15. Swimming pool construction. Oh, yeah. $35,000. forgot to New say. furniture. <laughs> uh, well, okay, the total is uh, $65,000. That's all. Thanks, Chad. You're welcome. Thanks you for know. Of us. <laughs> yeah. I, think you're, I bet so, you're thinking you didn't have, but I had to. I really yeah. had to, you know? Yeah. <laughs> no, and then there was $17 for the new set, but that I approved. <laughs> Uh, but I, you know, and I couldn't believe it. you just said no to the shipping and handling. That was the issue. Yeah, uh, that was where you drew the line. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, that was great. Thanks for doing that. that You're welcome. Super. You're welcome. I'm glad that. that, that uh, yeah, that was that was great. So, anyway, did you? Ha I ha did you have a great Easter? Was your Easter uh, very very quiet. The the weather was terrible. The past couple of days, Becky was couldn't even make Giz Fizz last night. Ah, uh, and. Uh, someone said, Google Statue of Liberty Lightning, and you did that now. I did. Because evidently the lady in the harbor got belted. <laughs> <laughs> that one, look at that. I know. Oh, several times directly to the torch. That is insane. That and is insane. insane. I can't imagine the amount of power. That it yep. takes to <laughs> create that arc. I, it looks yeah. as thick as her arm. 
Yeah, it, oh. <laughs> it, it, I wonder. I wonder if the, I wonder if it blew anything out in the statue. I didn't. Uh, like that electricity any... looks, like it's this big. Like, like you know, you see the flame in like movies up close. It seems that big as the flame. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yes, yes, it, yes. It almost looks like it's coming from her torch. Yeah. Instead of going down into it. Yeah. I actually think I may have heard something that lightning generates from the ground up. Is that it? it does? Chat room. Is this a tall tale? No. Is this a uh, myth? We need Mythbusters yes. chat room on this. Um, I would say it's a myth because a myth. with your boat, you have to. If you don't want to lose all your electronics, you have to put in uh, a lightning plate at the very bottom of your boat and to ground then it. connect to ground it and then connect all the electronics to, to that, that ground plate so that lightning strikes your boat and it goes through directly into the river. That so. is cra it's hard to ground something when there is no ground. <laughs> yeah when well, you're in river, uh, the river water ground. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that's, what, that's that's why the big old metal plate okay well the chat room is divided because spaceman the chat says, room is divided yeah spaceman says it does go up mr dave says it goes up then down <laughs> cam j says i heard that too <laughs> so there's no oh wait, wait we just got a uh scooter x Maybe the definitive answer here from Scooter X, uh, linking an article. It looks very official. I like the four letter. Oh, NATO National Severe Storm Laboratory. Wow. Oh, it goes sideways. Oh, what no. a twist. No. Uh, severe Weather 101. What is lightning? Are there cold flashes? We need to find the. Does it go up? Yeah. Blue, tallest, oh my gosh. Okay, NATO, you didn't, oh, from the sky down or the ground up? The answer is both! Oh, both, Cloud okay. to ground, CG, or also known as computer generated by the government. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Conspiracy <laughs> theory, CG, consumer, the computer generated. The answer is both. No, uh, landing on the ground, but the part you see from the ground up, typically cloud to ground flash lowers a path of negative electricity that we cannot see towards the ground in a series of spurts. Objects on the ground generally have a positive charge under a typical thunderstorm. Interesting. Wow. I said interesting because I don't want to read the rest of this paragraph, but... Yeah, yeah. That is actually really cool that it can do either. Both. Either and both. That's cool. Yeah, that is. Okay. Well, that explains well, this okay. one. I wonder if um, Lady Liberty had a certain type of charge and that caused it to be a different direction. Maybe. A theory. That's my theory. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, it's Noah, not NATO. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> NATO. Does NATO control the weather? I'm all about conspiracies today, it seems like. Yes, yes. Um, that's very funny. That is very funny. Uh, that is yeah, really people cool. Are, people are shocked that we're, they're learning something once again. <laughs> we came we here for the to. silly gadgets. <laughs> Stop talking about no NORAD and NATO and... No. And, and, and Dan Wally is, is adding in lightning can strike the same place twice. That is true. That is true. Yeah. Because there was the old saying, lightning never strikes twice. Well, oh. it does. It does. It does. Yes. Anything can happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, let's jump into some, some games. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, take one. a peek at... Um, last week I did a storage box that cost 36 bucks and i found something way cheaper Ooh. and this is the story this is going to be a very interesting spot this ta -da! uh recently i did it on the show 36 bucks on amazon okay i'm already using it latching doors 
wheels on the bottom, wheels that go in one direction, and you can stack them. You can open the top if you just have one. But if you stack them, of course, only the top unit can open. Uh, 36 bucks. But now I bought a pair for 25 All right, the box has arrived. I slit the lid. Uh, uh, um, opening it. Uh, instruction. Postage it's the same stamp. Company. Instruction. No. That's what the other one says. All right, and now. Uh, hey! These may be. That looks similar. They, yeah. These may be. Is I that metal? Already, I think it's a lighter weight. Is white that water? Plastic. Metal. Type material. Or white. Oh, plastic. no, no. It's foam. But it's foam. I see, I see. Open it and see. Now, Dennis, you're, uh, you're a thing that is tabletop. So we're protecting it. All right. Um, uh, hey, this seems familiar. Um, yeah. It assembles the same. I can see a Charlie tail back there. Yes, tail. Yeah. Charlie's giving it five tails up. Yeah. Okay. It is. You know what? This is definitely Different. a the other one, version. Like the slapped other one. together. The other one yes, exactly. just lifted it up. Everything locked into place automatically. I can't even tell. How this is supposed to go. Yeah. That one just locked into place. I don't know why this front one is. Oh, you know what? It's off the door. You see, the door isn't. The, it, door, it, the door is not down in the trap. The trap oh. Here. You gotta push. Well, this is yeah, hammer or something. You know, so you got you for what you paid for. This is definitely a cheap version of the other one. <laughs> yeah. And this door should be down in that, that track. This is won't stay together. Let's just see what the is. The bottom have wheels. Yeah. It does have the same kind of wheels. This is a a really lightweight plastic version of the other one. Really, you can the tell. One. Yeah, it, 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 be, it be weighs almost nothing. Oh, wow. Well, but know, in the description, it says for the price it's a very well, lightweight PP, HIP, yeah. plus PS. Who knows <laughs> what it is? <laughs> so Dennis had a good idea. See if the other one is any better. It ends with BS. The difference between $12 and $36. Now we're getting a $12 one. So $12. you $50. It's a uh, bargain. And it was just going to be for occasional storage. This would be the way to go. Let's see if this one have it around backwards now. All right, these are in the track. And I now this side I'm... doesn't lock. Isn't that a way? <laughs> work that works so so yeah. far yeah. the doors you both of them have something wrong all right and then the top again 12, two for 25 bucks. yeah you can tell that it's like rickety all right so we discovered something there is a holding ring oh. that is inside the lid so when you assemble it if you put the holding ring on this is pretty secure. The problem is, if you want to attach the top, it sits fine. But then if you want to open the top, you have to be careful that you don't pull the lift out. Ring. Yeah, pull the, the ring, ring Because the rest of the thing. <laughs> the thing is, how often are you going to open the yeah, top? Yeah, you're not going to open the top. Just use the doors, okay? The ring tends to want to come up. All in all, the 1250. This is really worth it, okay? I think they're uh, pretty decent. For yeah, nice looking, money. too. Yeah, I think they are nice looking. That's it. It went from hating them to eh, okay. not quite loving them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's really Actually, good. Dennis is right. You're not going to use them 
constantly. Yeah. And I already bought another set. They're not here oh, yet. Oh, good. Okay. So in the end, but, even though the assembly was frustrating. Yes. In the end. Yes. It it take a little bit of slamming around. But the funny thing is, I don't know why all these things are measured in gallons. Okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is th that actually is kind of amazing to get two of them for twenty four dollars. Yeah. Twelve. When bucks the each. other one. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve fifty. When the other one was. Uh, thirty-six dollars for one, and this one is deeper. This oh. one is thirteen gallons. Oh, each. And the thirty-six dollar is eight point four gallons. Oh, and so you've noticed has, it. it can't, is it bigger in real life? Yes, and there's something else about it. If you go back to that, uh, yeah, the doors are clear on this. And on the thirty-six dollar oh. one, they're kind of frosted, oh, so you may like that—that that you don't see what's inside. But since I'm using them for storage, there you see that's the thirty-six. Yeah, they one. have that. There's like ridges, so it's actually yeah. quite hard to kind of tell. Yeah, but it's still it's thirty-six dollars for one. Yeah! Wow! Wow! That is, I I I'm shocked that they're that. Uh, drastically priced, like you know, twelve fifty yes. versus thirty six. Yes, it's like a third of the price. Um, it, 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 exactly, exactly. Now, since the Rachel look, had right. another uh, suggestion that I saw in oh, the okay. chat go past, um, and it's interesting. This is now oh, not gallons anymore. Now we're on to quarts. Oh, quarts, thirty two oh, quarts. God. But it's a two pack, so you get. Six, the drawers are a, di a completely different design. Oh, you lift it up and... Yeah, and it looks assembles? like it can fold down. Look at that. Oh. So yeah, you see, I don't have that kind of room. I'm sticking them on top of shelves. Ah, I see. But I that, see. that's... In How much is that one? Uh, 60 bucks, but you get two, three stacks. You know, two... Holy so six cow. drawers... Uh, which is only about ten dollars. Oh, and there's a twenty percent off coupon what? right now. So that that would be. Let me look at the price again. It's like twelve dollars uh, off. So be forty eight dollars. Uh, forty eight for six drawers. Now I don't know if the drawers are the same size. They could be a bit smaller, but it looks similar. It's, it's a, interesting. It seems like a really good option for. Uh, you know, if you have an apartment. And you're just gonna be there for a year or two. Yeah, these are be these are amazing. Yeah, if they can hold shoes like that, that'd be really nice. Yeah, Put your shoes in there. How many gallons did we decide this one was? It was twenty three quarts. So you know, uh, oh, it's little then. Yeah, that does seem small. Yeah, I, I am afraid they're gonna. It's gonna come in and it's gonna be like. Eight gallons is what Eric Duckman says. So is what the quarts are. Uh, oh, that's almost the same size. Uh, the the green one I bought was eight point four gallons. Yeah. So and so. so it'll be arriving Saturday for Sinister Rachel. So we so we'll have to check back on a review and a uh, you know if it's uh, <laughs> false advertising oh, or that, not. Right. No, I bought two of the. The ones that I had in my video. I didn't buy that one. Oh, Rachel ordered that? Yeah, Sims to Rachel said that they've already placed the order. So, so oh, it, great. it'll be arriving oh, Rachel. Saturday. Rachel, can you make, please make us a video. Or okay? an email or, or yeah, just. Uh, yeah. yeah just, just, that would be uh, super. Give us a, uh, an update. That would be great. <laughs> Eric Duckman said, those are New York City apartments. <laughs> Each one of those storage bins. Is the apartment? Uh, yeah, yeah that, exactly. that'll be three hundred dollars rent. Uh, that little box. Um, okay, let's m next gadget. Uh, next uh, gadget is this one that I'm actually using right now. Ooh. When I do Giz Fizz, I want to have a little light at the very bottom of my computer to read the logo cards. Now it's bright in here now while we're filming this, so you can easily read them. But with the light shining mainly on me, 
I wanted a little light way down at the base of the computer. Uh, so I bought this on Amazon and it's okay. It's a couple of different temperatures of light and you have dual lights and it can be battery operated or the dreaded micro USB. Ah. You can run it off that. Okay. But it's, it, it's a little wonky. So I read about a small one on Amazon and I thought, uh, this one here. Okay. 12 bucks. Wow. There's a 25% off coupon. Um, so it was at $9 and it has more than 7,200 reviews. Oh yeah. And it got 4.7 stars. But the box just came. I'm thinking. <laughs> oh my! Is this yeah. a Barbie dollhouse <laughs> light? I I thought we'll open we'll open it together. I hope it's folded a lot. And see. Yeah, a wound up. Uh, oh, yeah. And, and the reason oh. I bought it is it. What is this, Mary says Poppins? USB C. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, good. Oh, the, oh, this one is battery. Uh, operated. This one is USB rechargeable. Oh, rechargeable. That's yeah. very nice. I love that. It's actually, batteries are getting integrated. Yeah, it's in. actually pretty. I don't know how they <laughs> it expanded it went, uh, from out of the box. So it's rechargeable. I wonder if it has any battery power in it. Oh, okay. So you know, I'm going to shut this off for a minute. All right. So that's one. Two, hey. three brightnesses, and one. What's, oh, so white light. Ah, ooh, very warm light, and then I think that's they call it a natural light. So three different light tones, and three different brightnesses. And you know, I don't know how long. Like, you know what? This is this is actually. This is probably going to be just perfect because I can have it kind of like this at the bottom of the computer. This is going to be great. Okay, I'll be able to read the cards without the light shining up because this kind of light is ghastly on a person. Um, and I like I'm, that. Um, I'm just trying to find yeah. out about how long it runs. Oh, it comes oh, in colors. And... Wow, 10 scientifically placed LEDs. Wow. We didn't just throw them anywhere. Science um, determined their location. Weighs 1.4 ounces. That's pretty decent. And I will super at the bottom how long it will run for. Um, this is pretty neat. I like that a lot. And if that, you know, I'm an Amazon Prime, so the price might be different. But if you're Amazon Prime and that coupon is still there, this thing is just $9. <clears throat> All right. Just nine bucks. It's pretty good. Yeah. And, and see what you get as a price because I Ooh. went there right before the show. No coupon, but it was $8.50. This is Ooh, $8.50. It is $8.50. Yes. Oh, it, it's, a, it's a deal of the day. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh no, thirty nine hours a deal. Uh, so that is a it's pretty good. I think, uh, and, and a, it's a great travel light. I think that's the perfect book light. <laughs> yeah, like this has a, a lot it, going for it. Is that it's USB C rechargeable. I liked the levels. The light seemed very nice and soft, which is great. And the color temperature is just a bonus. And that super duper warm light, while kind of seems a little strange, is actually kind of nice if it's really late at night and you're really wanting like a, a yes. different mood. You know, I could really see that as something you would prefer is an absurdly yeah. orange light because you're trying to get ready yeah. for bed. And, things like and that. You, you don't see the LEDs because it has a great diffuser over yeah. it. Oh, what and am I talking it about? Was, I am uh, designed it. by Mr. Ants, first name Cy. So uh, oh. designed by C yeah. Cy Ants. Anyway, uh, yes, I like it a lot. <clears throat> Excellent. Okay, well. I just disconnected something that is going crazy here. 
I can hear it. Uh, can you hear it? Yeah. 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 Um, all right, we'll go to the, the what the heck is it. Okay. We'll try to find out what's going on. Here. Okay. What the heck is it? I'm excited about this one because uh, time for it's what the heck is it? Uh, uh, what the heck is it? <laughs> or what the heck are they? Graters the very large pieces of cheese. <laughs> Not quite. Uh, uh, is it for a closet? You get a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there, you is this it for a, a pantry? Uh, okay. So it's been around oh, for I know. No, no, snowshoes. No, not a pantry. I was thinking. Oh, snowshoes. You put plastic bags right. through so it to the store The idea's them. been around for a long time. Oh, uh, that's I've a never good seen guess, this quite wrong. heavy duty. And when I saw the ad for it, I thought, you know what? This is perfect for the studio because I wear different shirts. <laughs> just shoot, just, just fan around to that chair. Over there, okay. I have a pile of shirts. There you go. Because there's no room to hang anything in here. This is a studio. This is New York. The closets are all full of gadgets. Um, so I have room to hang one gadget. And I thought, one shirt. I the ad, I thought, this is a, a deluxe version of those. Uh, um, hang, use one. Oh, are you going to go to sleep? Yeah. Use one hook. To hang a bunch of shirts like these here, okay? Like that. If you want to do ties, hang it this way. Well, you're going to hang your shirts that way, right? Uh, uh, you know what? I am going to hang yeah. my shirts okay, that way because it's, all I have is a single closet door. There's no rod in there. Um, and then <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how do you get this to go on there? All right. It can go yeah. on either side. You can do the ends. And then I look at the little booklet and it says, add the hook through the notch. So once you get it in the track. Oh, I see. You oh. can, I want it there. Yeah, I could. But if you want oh. it the other way, you slide it all the way down here. So I'm going to, I have actually, it's installed. Wow. Now, how much would you pay? Okay, so now the thing is, instead of using that one hook for one shirt, which I've been doing, uh, sometimes you say, why is he wearing that same shirt? Uh, 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 one, two, this will, uh, I guess you have to put, use hangers that you can turn Three. So they're going to stick out on. a bit. But, boy, you know what? You could hang a ton of shirts. <laughs> I'm going to put one all the way. Well, I'll just do it down here. So what was that? Five? You could even two, do the four, sideways method five, and then see them all better. Six, seven, eight. No, you can hang ten shirts. Okay. That's going to be a oh, little you, bulky. Actually, you could. Closes, but there's a fair but, amount but of they'd be too wide to close the door, too. I think. Uh, yeah. Wow. 7,600 ratings. Uh, four out of five stars from 7,600 ratings. And, oh, you know, this is the, the screen. This is the touch screen. Oh, hey, hi. Uh, hey, house. All right. Finally, a name we can say. The hey, house. College dorm storage essentials, multifunction, organizer, magic space saving, hang a thing device. <laughs> <laughs> that so is so it's like cool. two bucks a piece. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, six Not that foot, bad. Yeah. and they have all kinds of assortments. You can buy more of them. You can buy, um, but don't buy the. I think the two pack is like. Twelve dollars and the six pack is like fourteen dollars. So, if you're interested, just check the prices. Right, right. So thirteen dollars for a six pack. Um, now, Scooter X did find it. Uh, 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 I bet uh, he found. Uh, I bet he found oh, a cheap, cheap. A dollar. Oh, a buck. A buck, and you get three of them. <laughs> it says a buck for three of them, and oh free shipping. Yeah. What? And it says that it arrives in two weeks, which is pretty fast for uh, a, AliExpress. Uh, Ali, is this AliExpress? Or, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
they are picking up the speed. Oh, yeah. That is amazing. Oh, yeah, I think they got it was scared of te te Timu. Wait, did I just choose five pieces and the price didn't change? Click it again? <laughs> well, how could that be? How could that be? Am I getting some weird coupon thing? I, I'm wondering. We choice. Weekly deal. Save. It ends. April 4th. I have no idea. I don't understand how AliExpress works. There's a chance you could get this for a dollar. <laughs> oh, maybe it's one? Oh, one dollar and six. Where do you see these? No, I mean, trends? maybe it's... Eric Duckman says that it is one dollar and 67 cents plus a dollar and 99 shipping for regular customers. How do I see the regular customer price? But why doesn't the price change when you click on the number of pieces? I don't know. And why do kids listen to loud music these days and play with their hula hoops? I don't get this website. It is too it is broken. <laughs> Free shipping on the first order. Uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway. As you can see, it may be able to be found online for cheaper. Hey, yeah. by the way, uh, Scooter X did, uh, I, d I was thinking of this when you were showing off your light and you were talking about how you were going to use it uh, just for the uh, Kiss Fizz. Is there any USB, like a port nearby? Because uh, he suggested a product which I endorse. Is it's the same type of LED thing, but on the other end, instead of any battery, it's just a USB. And that way, if you happen, like, you know, even like on the side of a monitor or something, click it yeah, into the edge. I don't have anything. And that way you that wouldn't even have close. to recharge it with USB-C. It would just be a continuous yeah. light. Well, I have it plugged in with the USB cable that came with it, but the, ah. the USB cable snakes back into the computer. Right. And I, I also like that yellow light because... Right. It, I do it too. Hi highlights the text, and it, you don't see it. You don't see it on camera. I mean, I'm using it now to look at the rundown. Yeah. No, I can't see a glow or. Anything. Yeah. 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 That's great. Okay. Cool. Uh, well, that good. was the last what? Uh, oh, last gadget. What the heck is it? Yep. With that, let's yep. move on to. <gasps> you know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Core. Get it. Get it. Okie dokie. We have the crappy corner gadget. Here it is. Oh. Hello. Hello. Based off of this. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to give away the theme or not. I, I just realized maybe I might be giving away the, the theme, but I think, I think I'm pretty safe. Honestly, I don't think you're going to be Oh, you're going to show us the three choices. Yeah, gonna... I'll tell you the three okay. choices. Okay. So the three choices were between beach gadgets. No. Gadgets on sale. And arts and crafts gadgets. Um. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's between on sale. And, of course, he could have crayons in his mouth. You have no idea what this guy is. No, he looks no. kind of artsy, but he could also have been on sale. <laughs> uh, I'm doing on sale. Correct. Ding, 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 ding. Yes. Uh, I don't think any of our, our viewers live near the beach, so I don't think <laughs> they care oh, that oh, much. Okay. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. 16% of uh, our patrons wanted the beach. 22 wanted arts and crafts, and 62% wanted <laughs> gadgets on sale. So, um, yeah. I think Scooter X voted 50 times <laughs> because he just loves finding sale things. I think that it might be the entire Gizwiz audience likes finding a sale, <laughs> honestly. I think it's, I may have just hit the demographic on the head. Uh, okay, with that, uh, let's take a look at uh, my new little gadget. Hey, diggy, oh, diggy. yeah. I am feeling like I am in an OMG craft mood. So we got the OMG craft background on the screen over here. We are taking a look at the first of our gadget deals. These gadgets need to be some type of reduced price from what they're originally sold out. And today we are taking a look at one of our favorite gadget categories, the fidget category. 
Oh my god! Obviously, gosh. this fidget like fidget spinners and f little fidget toys. This looks very very different. This is a fidget plush, right? So you can see multiple tactile sensory features. Zippity doo, multi sensory, multi sensory fidget friends. You also see the price. It was sixteen eighty eight. Now I got it for only nine fifty. That's a Ooh. savings of around seven dollars. So let's uh, the, the, uh, we you know you see the box. Let's get them out of the box, and I can show you what this fidget is all about. Here he is. The adorable lion. He's looking for his courage. He is very cute. Um, so this, uh, you may think because he's a plush, by the way, his feet are like sandbags and so is his butt, which is kind of fun. He has a nice uh, weight to him. But because he's like a plush, you may think, oh, this must be for like toddlers. Very, very young, uh, uh, you know, kids. But this is actually on the box. It mentions three up. I already threw the box uh, super far away. Uh, ages three and up, which is, you know, I would not classify that as a toddler. So uh, older. Also with this zipper, I wouldn't put, give that to uh, toddlers. Inside his mouth, he has this star. It's nice and crinkly. It's kind of fun to play with. Uh, you obviously have the zipper. And you can zip and zip around. Um, on top of his head, his mane here, these are like individually looped little things, so they're kind of fun to get your fingers in there and kind of, they're nice and soft, so they're kind of fun to play around with. On his arms, there's these little silicone beads here, or like silicone, like, I don't know, not beads, but like, uh, I don't know, texture on the top. His belly has a whole bunch of different textures. This one has like some rubberization on there, like corduroy. This one's really soft, that's really cool. And his feet have that same, almost that same type of texture. So he's a really fun. So this is definitely for a younger, you know, child, uh, someone who would still have a toy or stuffed animal with them and can still sort of, you know, play around and fidget with the toy. Um, not quite a toddler, like I mentioned, but, uh, you know, a very young child. This would be, I think, a very, very fun sensory thing to keep around. So there we go. As we mentioned, only $9.50. And I did look it up earlier. It is available online too uh, for clearance. So we'll take a look at that right now or in a moment. <laughs> okay, okay. It's very, it's very cute. Yeah, I thought that was that was pretty neat. Uh, and like I mentioned, I liked uh, that it's like online. I, I I did think that it could be shipped, but it says get it in store. So it looks. And, like and what store? What store are we at? Walmart. Walmart. So a if you Walmart. got a Walmart near you, uh, they may still have some in stock. Uh, so go over there and check it out. Um, and then you can kind of see the age of, of the child. It's like not quite, you know, toddler, like I said, but, you know, not nine years old, too. Um, but anyway, I thought, I thought it was a very, very yeah, unique very type yeah. of fidget. And I gotta say, I really do like, I like the weight. He feels so cuddly. Like I could just see just carrying him around. And you don't really know that he's also a nice little sensory toy too. <laughs> Name it Leo, Leo the lion. Anyway, <laughs> so I like it. I like him, I like him a lot. He's, uh, he's a nice little fidget toy. Okay, Excellent. with that, Excellent. let's move on to Nick's gadget. Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse. Fun. Mm -hmm. Our email is from Randy Penn, who writes greetings. I know you guys are always looking for user-generated content, so I have uploaded my first gadget warehouse video. Perfect. That's the best. I hope it measures up to your low standards. <laughs> and I, I watched it, and I wrote him back, and I said, Randy, it's way above our low standards, but we will show it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you so far exceeded it, our standards and we'll, yeah, let, exactly. it, we'll and, let it slide. It, it's a great gadget. And oh, I happen cool. to also have this in the warehouse 
because I can't throw it away. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so here's, here's Randy's video. Okay, I can't wait. Hey, Dick and Chad. It's Randy from Colorado. Ah! I've watched or listened to every episode of the Gizwiz, but I've never actually contributed anything to the oh, show. thank you. So I figured it was about time. Today, I want to tell you about the gadget warehouse item I can't bear to get rid of. The Arcos PMA 400. It came out way back at the beginning of 2005, before the first iPod with video. It cost about $800, and it was a gift. That's why I can't bear to get rid of it. The PMA stands for Personal Media Assistant. It's basically a personal digital assistant that also handles a variety of media functions. There's a 30 gigabyte mechanical hard drive inside, so even though it's rugged with these rubber bumpers on the corners, it's also fragile. The OS is a version of Linux called Qtopia, so it runs apps similar to what smartphones run today, like email and a calendar. But the star of the show for this gizmo was media. Not only does it play video, but with this crazy dongle dock thing, you could record video from a variety of inputs. It also plays and records audio. It could display your photos and even work like an external hard drive. Wow. So basically everything your smartphone does today. I had one before this called the Jukebox Multimedia, but it only had a one and a half inch screen. Arcos is still around, but this was the king of the hill. I've had way more gadgets than I should have over the years, but this one's definitely one of my favorites. And that's why it's a gadget warehouse item I can't bear to get rid of. Thanks for the show, guys. And as long as you keep making them, I'll keep watching. That's great. Love the Texas Ranger in the background, too. That is great. Man, yeah. I can't believe the uh, animation and the fluidity of that video. I had one, um, and I would take it on airplanes on trips. It was like the first way to have carry your own movie with you. Wow. Yeah, and they were expensive. I think they were seven ninety nine ninety nine. <laughs> and they made a ton of accessories. I, I even forgot you could record your own movies. I guess I did record my own movies on it back then. That was back when a a gadget like that, well, I mean, for 800 bucks, it, it did. It came with its own line of accessories, its own line of dongles and doohickeys <laughs> yeah. and plastic molded parts. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Oh, look, there's a, there's a Wikipedia article about it. Uh, let's uh, pull that up. There we go. Look at that. 2005. Wow. 20 and a 30 gigabyte version. Man. I guess this was the art. The, this is a different one. Oh, no, no. Is this the one? I forget it, what the model uh, number You was. know, it might be because it had the, the funny corners on yeah. it to protect it. Yeah. That is so crazy. That is funny because I it's it's so funny what our society like what time periods our society went through because this this is the same selling point as the iPod video. Like there was a time when it was like you can watch a movie in your pocket. <laughs> Whoa! Like that there was a time that that was so incredible. And now that is almost laughable. That it's like, of oh, course, there's yes, a movie yes. in your pocket, because there's a whole computer, supercomputer in your pocket. Of course, you can play a, a basic movie. Not only can you do that, um, like a movie is actually nothing for this, because um, you could render a whole game. Which oh, you know, power absolutely. for that is absolutely way beyond decoding <laughs> yeah. H.264. Yeah. Like that's just insane. That is crazy. So eight hundred dollars today. Well, I forgot what year he said. Two thousand four, right? Two thousand five was uh yeah, two thousand four, uh, yeah. two thousand five. Yeah. Uh yeah. oh here it is. Er Eric Duckman did it. Um uh, that eight hundred dollars today is thirteen hundred and one dollars almost Thirteen hundred and two dollars. <laughs> One thousand three hundred bucks to be able to play a video and like have email. Like you can see why a six hundred dollar iPhone is not ridiculous. You know. Um, oh yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, if you use it that way. I mean, yeah. This is I. I could if I didn't create content. I feel like I could. <laughs> live my whole life off of my phone you know if i had to i probably could um 
That's just insane. Very cool. Thank you so much. I can't believe it, it took so long to make a video because that video was perfect. Randy, I know. Randy, we could hear you. We could see you. It was horizontal format. It was a great, our favorite thing, technology of the past, where uh, I have one or two more videos. That for some reason, people were motivated last week. But we need more. Um, make a video. One to three minutes. Anything about a gadget, a gadget you just bought and love, a gadget you just bought and hate, um, uh, and, and like Randy, just horizontal, make sure we can hear you and see the gadget. You can be in it if you want, or if you're very shy, just uh, show the gadget and talk about it. Uh, you send, put it up on YouTube. There's a drop-down menu. Click unlisted, and that way only uh, people with the URL can see it. And send that to us, mail at gizwiz.tv. And remember, don't click private. Uh, mail at gizwiz.tv. Unlisted is what you want. Perfect. Send it in now. And uh, remember, the bar is set so low. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, there's not, there's, we, we will we'll take you how you come. So uh, send them on in. With that, let's move on to the letter. Uh, this has been a, a, a great week for fun stuff from viewers. This is from Ed Norris, who's written us before, and I think he's sent in some videos. It's an invention that's so clever, but everybody who knows about it cannot think of a way to use it, okay? <laughs> uh, hi, Dickie D. I, I thought this was fun. I cannot think of any practical use for it. Maybe you and Chad can. Ah. It is the Invisibility Shield 2.0. I'm afraid what? I missed version 1.0. <laughs> yeah. And here it here it is a demo on Kickstarter. Whoa, I mean, just this thumbnail looks crazy. Have you ever dreamed? I don't know if this is copyright of music or not. We wow! And we've been working to turn that dream into a reality. Interesting. Introducing our second generation invisibility shields. They're bigger, lighter, and more Okay, okay. We've created three sizes. The mini. Now, I, I do. The full size. You have a use? Well, and I have a use, but also I have a criticism. The largest I want you to notice this is every single shot. The background has a consistent line that goes through it. Every single shot has this line in the background. You got the beach scene with the horizon. You got the bricks. You got the line. I think it's basically, it's, it's extruding. So if there was a tree trunk right here, it wouldn't show the tree, it would, anyway, you see what I'm, I'm trying to point out that it, I do think their demo is a, might be a bit disingenuous because it's uh, my, my, uh, I feel like the magician part of my career is coming out. I'm like, I think, I think they may be messing with us a little bit. Anyway, keep an eye on that technique. I feel like this okay, is, a, okay, okay. it's refracting the light around and I think they're using this technique to make it look super duper impressive. And I can just kind of show you back, look, lines, lines, lines. They're bigger, lighter, and more powerful oh, than ever. Oh, I see. We've created oh, well, three they're... sizes. It makes it Mini. look invisible because it is basically it's creating this and side the profile, shield. but I don't know if that would the look the same in a different background. They're using the exact same background and the exact same scenario every time. Uh, and and it's very suspicious people, to objects me. Objects and, well, just about anything. Like here, Setting I want to see it in this environment where it's not a perfect and when you're finished, line. They can pack down to a I want to see it in this type of environment. Size in these dedicated carry cases. Why would you go to the top of a mountain to see look invisible? Lines. Our new shields project their like surroundings this. with amazing it's suspicious. clarity. Suspicious, suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst ergonomic grips help keep you hidden when moving.
we took everything we learned from crowdfunding and shipping thousands of first-generation shields in 2022, and we used it to develop the best products. Well, there's no line there, created. right? Thank what? You. Oh, wait, here, let's go see. Uh, well. Generation shields in 2022, and we used it to develop the best. So, like, there was one shot where it was just blank. Oh, I think I Thank you. Soundings with amazing clarity. Ah, I think I missed that spot. Like, right there. But that's just a solid color. So, that's still not, in, in, in my mind, that's not like indicative of a situation where you have very, ir in a very irregular. Give me the shield here. You know, it's an irregular background. It's going to look super weird. Oh, oh, I see what you're I saying. I think that if with an irregular oh, background, it's not going to look as cool as it does in this video. It's going to look... Need, you need something You very need the cool line that goes through it for it to look like a continuous, invisible situation. You have to have that in your technique to make it look invisible, is my... Oh, okay is my theory, that's my theory. And uh, I wish they would show it in other situations, uh, just to be, I don't know what it means, I don't know, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it would be, but, uh, but it's suspicious to me. We took everything we learned from crowdfunding and shipping thousands of first generation shields in 2022, and we used it to develop the best products we've ever created. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to turn our dreams into reality and share our second generation shields with you. Well, how much, uh, Scooter X yeah, wants to know see. how much. How much is it? Uh, the mini, the Cap miniature Captain one. Captain Jay said he's gonna buy one and watch his money disappear. <laughs> the mini one is 54 uh, pounds or whatever $69. Yeah, 69 bucks. The full size is about 200, 300, that is so tiny, 380. I have to lean in to see. The full size shield, that's 417. Mega shield is about $800. Well, I have version one. <laughs> Where'd he go? I can't yeah. see him. It almost works. Let me turn it off. You're back. Yeah, um, so you had asked, is there a way to use it? The only thing I could think of is if you wanted to like hide some element of something that you just literally couldn't hide with like paint, you know, like a pole. Like there's a pole in the way. Let's put an Invisa shield in front of it and no one will notice. You know that? I, that I have it. I have it. Okay. This would work best in New York City. Ah. Put it in front of a fire hydrant <gasps> where you are illegally parked. Ah, I and like when the it. Cop when the cop walks by, he won't where's see the it. fire hydrant? It's not there. There's no fire. There's Ain't no, no fire, fire hydrant, hydrant here. here. Mm -mm. There you go. You just save yourself two hundred bucks and you can buy one. I like it. I like that a lot. Let me think. Um, you could prank people by putting one over the uh, wet floor signs, you know? <laughs> they won't see those wet floor signs right. or they might slip. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's potential here. Only yeah, problem is if you want to hide a human, it'll cost you about $800 for some plastic. That's how much the, the full size one is? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eight, uh, uh, that's the mega shield. Looks like it can h hide a person. See, anything less than the mega. Oh, yeah. The mega know. shield, and that is 885 Five about. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, no. Yeah. That's why I just want to be a bit critical of it, is you could drop a thousand bucks on this and have been bis been misled to think that I could use it right now and I would look invisible. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I don't think yeah. people realize if you have the vertical lines in the background, it'll look really cool. Um, but yeah. Well, I think the vertical lines are sold separately. That's where <laughs> they get you. I agree. Yeah, it's, it's kind of fun, though. It is fun.
fun. I agree. Yeah, I it's mean, it's a, it's a weird it. look. This vertical yeah. line thing, though, it it just is in every. <laughs> You yes, yeah, you're actually right. I didn't even think that it would be down here too. That's really funny. Um, yeah, cool. That's neat. Okay, okay. Well, with that, uh, let's say thank you to our patrons over Patreon.com/Gizwiz. Thank you guys so, so, so much for supporting our show. If you like the show, please consider giving back. Patreon.com slash gizwiz is where you can give back, or gizwiz.tv, you can click on the Patreon banner there, and there's a, a link to take you to the uh, our PayPal, where you can donate via PayPal, or a big old banner, where you can uh, head to Patreon. Um, and just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody who supports our show. You guys are absolutely incredible. So thank you so much for your support. Gizwiz.tv is where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. If there is a schedule change, the top of the website will be updated. So you can uh, see it just right there, gizwiz.tv. Head there, join the chat room, and chat along with everybody when we're live. It is a fantastic time in the chat room. Uh, and all you have to do is head over there uh, at get to gizwiz.tv. If you don't catch the show live, of course, we host it on our website, gizwiz.tv, or on YouTube, or on Apple Podcasts, and we also have an RSS feed for you if you would like that as well. Uh, head on to gizwiz.biz, that's Dickie D's website. Not gizwiz.tv, but gizwiz.biz. And he writes up articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about on the show. So if you ever need more information or a reminder about any of the gadgets that we talked about, gizwiz.biz is the best place to head. While you're there, play the real what the heck is it? You gotta guess this gadget, the entire gadget. And uh, I just hate to give this one away, but uh, these are actually speed shoes for chickens, uh, for the ultimate chicken speed tournament that happens every year in uh, Waxahachie. Uh, if you think you know what this is, get a guessin'. Six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers, so get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. With that, that wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.